Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to share your Power BI report outside the organization. Suppose I want to share my report with one of my friend who is outside the organization. In this case, how can I share the Power BI report with my friend so that he can view the report? So let me show you how it's done. So as you can see on my screen, I am in the Power BI service inside my project workspace. And here I have three different reports and data sets. So suppose I want to share this Superstore Analytics dashboard with my friend. So I will go inside this report. Then I can go to this file option. And from here you can see this embed report option. So this embed report option is giving me another sub options like website or portal, publish to web, developer playground. So here I want to select this publish to web. So if I click on it, it is uh, throwing an error. It's showing contact your admin to enable the embed code creation. So if you see this error, what you can do is you can go to the settings, uh, click on the gear icon and go to the admin portal. And from the admin portal, tenant settings, you can go down and you will get a publish to web option in the export and sharing settings. So here you can see this publish to web option. I will click on it and open this. So you can see this is enabled. But if this is enabled, why are we not able to create a new embed code? Because this enabled is for the existing embed codes. So you can read it here. When publish to web is enabled, existing embed code work. Choose if user can create new codes. From here, you will have to allow users to create new embed codes to the entire organization or to the specific security group. So let's apply to the entire organization. So I will click on apply and it's saved. Now I will go back to the report and from here let's uh, refresh it once so that the settings are applied. Now again, I will do the same thing. I will go to file, I will go to embed report and from here I can go to publish to web. If I click on it, it's asking me to continue Let's click on continue and again it's giving a warning that do not publish confidential or proprietary information or an individual's personal data let's click on publish so it's saying success your report is ready to share and it has generated two links first one is link you can send an email second one is html you can paste into web so with the second link you can embed the report within some website or application in our case the first link is useful so we can copy this link so i've copied this link i will go to new tab and i will just paste the link and click on enter I can view the report and I can interact with it. So whoever is having this link can view the report. Now, if I share this link with my friend, he can easily be able to view this report. Now, let me tell you some pros and cons about this sharing option. So the pros are the user does not need to have a Power BI account or any kind of Power BI license. The second benefit is the user does not need to have a work email address. So in this uh, sharing option, it's very simple. Whoever has this link can view the report. Now here comes the cons. Suppose by mistake, if you have shared this link with uh, someone whom you don't want to share with, they can view the report. If the report is having some sensitive data or confidential data, in that case, you should not choose this option. Now let me show you one more thing. Suppose you have published this report to web. Now you want to unpublish it. Now suppose I have published this report to web and now suddenly something strikes it in my mind that it has some sensitive data. In that case, how can you revert back? So to unpublish or delete from the web, you can go to the settings option, click on this gear icon, and in the resources and extensions, click on manage embed codes. So if I click on manage embed codes, it is showing me the reports that I have published and that is active. So here, if I click on this delete option, so it's saying you're about to delete a published to web code for this report. The report will no longer be available in the blogs or website you put it in. Are you sure you want to delete this? I will say delete it. And now we don't have any embed codes. Now let's go to this link. So this link was generated by the embed code option and I can see the report. But as soon as I refresh this, it's showing this content isn't available. So I hope you have learned something new in this video. And if you want to continue learning Power BI along with me, consider subscribing my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching my video.